you know, that's 14 practices done, and, and obviously tomorrow get to finish it up. And, and um, you know, I think you find yourself, okay, you know, what did we get out of spring? Was it a good spring? And, and even for individuals. And I think the, the real key to that is what do we take from what we did in the spring and how do you carry it forward? You know, obviously it's valuable uh, for every guy that gets reps. Uh, and a lot of guys are able to get a lot of reps. You know, that you take what you did this spring and then how do you, how do you learn from it? How do you build on it? And, uh, you know, spring is always a, a time that, you know, it's, it's unique in that you focus on the individual as much as you do the team, you know. So where are we as a team? You know, team's made up of individuals. So it's just it's what we take from this individually and, and then how do you put it together. And, and obviously, you know, we had some guys that, that didn't go the whole spring or didn't participate in the spring at all that we think will be important for our success in, in the fall. You know, you think about like Keanu and Isaiah didn't finish at the end. And, uh, you know, we had three three backs that I think can help us. You know, and, and Chez and Isaac and Ship. You know, and, and they weren't able to go a couple tight ends, right? But um, you know, it was. A, I appreciate the the work that's gone into it so far by the players and, and the coaches. But really, the value of spring is what do we get out of it and how do we apply it to go forward. We talked at the beginning of spring. I know quarterback is just one facet mm -hmm. of the offense, but you talk about turnovers, being yep. more efficient with the ball. Do you, do you have enough pieces on offense? Do your quarterbacks have to be spectacular next year? I mean, the position, or if, are they just efficient? Is that enough for this team? Well, I think you certainly have to be uh, efficient, okay. and that can lead to uh, – you can't be the other stuff without being efficient, without taking care of the ball. <laughs> And I thought, you know, throughout spring there was times and days where it was good, and I thought there was times where it got um, where you say that, that that can't be, you know. And if if it's if it's reinforced in April, okay. But you know, I think there's there's also a false uh, you know, talking about Corvettes, really any of it, any position that there's a false reality, and that you can't keep making the same mistakes. I was disappointed. You, you got a, you know, today we have a quarterback center exchange. You know, there are there are takeaways from defense, and there's times when offensively you give it away. And to me, you know, whether it's, it's that or a, a controlled penalty, you know, an, an offsides or an illegal procedure, right? Those are controllable. And so I think if you're going to be a good team, you got to do that. Going back to the quarterbacks, you, you know, I think that, you know, if, I don't know. I mean, Maybe that is spectacular when you're using all your guys mm -hmm. and you're taking good care of the football. And there's no doubt if you're going to play the quarterback position, there are times where you've got to you've got to make you've got to give guys a chance to make a play. You know, and, and, and uh, but you got to be consistent. And, and I thought you know Graham and Chase got the most reps this spring, and I thought there was times where they were really good at it, and there's times where they obviously got to learn from it, just like. Last year, some good and stuff you got to learn from if we're going to be give ourselves a chance. Maybe spectacular was a bad word. I just wondered if if your guys just take care of the ball and move the chains and make the plays that are needed, will that be enough given the weapons that you have around? Yeah, I mean, and, and the and the weapons have to rise up, but I think that it's that's part of playing quarterback. You, you know, I go back was 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 Scotty a spectacular quarterback? Tolzien, you know. Through 73 percent, you know, Russell. Where Russell was different, what he did when the play broke down, you know. Um, you look at the quarterbacks. You know, the Ben quarterbacks of really good teams. I would argue they were better than maybe what the perception was, you know. And, and uh, so I think that it. I think that is. If you're playing it that way, and you're allowing all your team, offensively and defensively. That's that's pretty dang good play. Your quarterbacks were very complimentary of what Keller has brought to the room. Um, what kind of expertise have you seen him bring to that room? What, what do you make of him as a coach and the things he's been able to do in a very short time? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad he's here, and and um, like a lot of when I say that, I think okay, is it any of the coaches? You know, you 
you're glad that your players have a chance to do stuff they can learn from them, right? And then he's played the he's played the game, so I think there's a, an understanding of that, you know. And, and um, you know, I think they've got a lot. Our quarterbacks have a lot of resources right now, and the thing I appreciate from them is they'll they'll use them. You know, we all got to do our part, coaches and players, to to make that positive and positively impact you know, the individual player and which really is only as good as you impact the team. Well, what have you learned about these new coaches that you have on your offensive side right now as you've gotten to work together more closely here over the last month on, on the field? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, been able, what I've learned, you know, I mean, I've had a chance, you know, I've worked with Al before, worked with Bobby before, um, you know, certainly, you know, worked with Bo. You know, for a long time, and, and you know, they're in maybe different roles, but uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is, you know, players are getting to know them too, and they're getting to know the players. And it's kind of like we talked about with the players. You know, what what's the value of spring? The value of spring is what do you take from it, and how do you carry it forward? And, and I think that's what's most important. Sorry. We were talking before about some of the guys. Rock paper scissors. Let's we'll see it right now. We're talking about something. I'm not ashamed. I'm not an athlete. I can't win that either. Uh, guys who haven't been able to practice this spring. Stephon Grace is one of them. He has given you some, some big moments on the field. When he is healthy, what does he add to the group as a special teams player and potentially? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. You know, Grace is one of those guys that uh, you, you want to see him on the field because you think he can uh, give this team something. You know, as you said, and whether it be special teams or at the receiver position, you know, and, and uh, I think the one thing that you know, there's not, I don't know, if we got one guy. You know, I, be, I feel real strong about this. I don't think we got one guy that wants to miss. You know, and yet, uh, you know, he's really didn't play a lot last year. You know, and then I think he had two practices this spring. You know, but Brace is a guy that's got some abilities to him, you know, and, and uh, you know, he's got to then take now, kind of what we talked about, how do you take what's happened in the fall, what's happened in the spring, and how do you use that, and, and how am I training, what am I doing, because the only time you can really add value is when you're when you're out and, and playing, and it's not that he's choosing not to, right, but, you know, how can we help him again, how do we as a program help them? What can they take away? Learn because we still believe he's a guy that could, but you got to go do it. I think in the past, spring has been used as like a, a place where you can prove yourself and have an opportunity then right. in fall, right? Like you put your you do stuff here, and then you can take advantage of it. I think so. Is there any few guys that have stood, have stood out to you that have done that in the spring that put themselves in a position to? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, I think you know you, you look at it and. In, in, the, in the D line, you know, pretty much the guys that you know, the, the first few, you know, Keanu, Isaiah, Rodas, you know, James, you know, we were expecting that, and, and I think they, I thought, you know, Townsend had a good spring going, and I think that was really important for him. So you're going to kind of see, okay, and I think he sees it too, right? That you know, you just talked to him. I was. Last year, I kind of knew I didn't know it, and, and you, you feel the certainty. Of it. I mean, the inside linebackers, you know, that kind of just kind of played itself out to where, you know, certainly in spring, you can go down in each position. In spring, you, you have a rep chart, right? Who's going to get the reps? And you want to try to balance it as best you can. You really don't have that luxury. I think that's why springs can get a little bit, you know, some of the details not there. And for us, we'll choose to sacrifice the, some of the detail, you know, playing together and kind of seeing some and getting more reps because you want everyone to get reps in there. Who are we to say which one should be getting, right? You want the, the film to do it, and it's also part of their growth, you know, and, and again, I, I still think it's, okay, what, what do you do in spring is a piece of it, but then what do you do in the summer? But there are no questions. We're going to be adding some more guys to this team and the reps are going to go to some of them so you're going to have some receivers that 
or your DBs, your linebackers, your tight ends, where the, you know they're not going to get as many reps. So that's where I think the value of spring is. Did I put myself in a position to get a lot of reps and keep going, or am I kind of in that I'm sharing reps? And so I think probably you look at that each position. You know, you think about a line or so. You know, receiver, running back. You know, they talk about we're going to add some guys to it. I think that's probably what it is, is you're now in a position where you're guaranteeing kind of your reps or you're going to be sharing your reps. It's not to say that the door's closed, you know, and we're going to need everyone. But I think that, you know, in the fall, you got to get you got to get ready to play. And that's where you need more reps and the, and the precision and the details. You know, a guy makes a mistake, you know, in, in the spring, and you're like, okay, you got to learn from it. And, you know, in, the, in this, Fall, you got a little bit of that, but they should be learning. You can't, you can't, we don't have time as a team and as a player to have a spring ball again in the fall. Oh, no. well, you mentioned the three tailbacks who've been out for the yeah. three On signing day, you said, hey, I'm comfortable with the guys that we've got at tailback. Mm -hmm. Are you still comfortable that way, or is it possible? And with the transfer portal, right. you're so fluid, is there possibly you're going to add someone at that position? I mean, honestly, I'm excited about that group. Okay. You know, and, and I thought. I've appreciated the way that uh, you know Isaac and Chez and Ship have attacked kind of this. I, you know they didn't get to go through spring, but I really don't think at all that they they cheated them cheated themselves in, in the preparation. You know what I mean? I think that um, you know fortunately you know Ship played a lot of football. You know so I thought last spring was really important for Ship. You know and then it, it gave him a position. And, and so, you know, he's one that when you're, you're you know, kind of as you'd expect, you know, he's into it and, and learning from it. And, and I think, you know, certainly Chez played a lot. And, and I think, you know, you never want to see him go through, anyone go through what he did. But I think he's done a great job of channeling kind of his energy and his competitiveness and, and what he's done in the weight room. And now, you know, the more he can run and, you know, I think he'll come out of it in some ways better, you know, and, and then Isaac, always been really excited about Isaac, and, and I think he, probably is I get the energy from them, right, and they're excited about what they've done and where they're at, so, you know, Braylon, first spring, you, you know, and, and I thought Julius did a nice job of kind of trying to maximize his opportunities there, so I, I do feel good about that group. Not, not to diminish Isaac or Brady or any right. of the other guys, but would you agree that last year when you guys were in that stretch, you were winning games that when Braylon and Chez were together that was your most effective it was better right you know and then and then all of a sudden Chez was down and starts to wear on you know wore on Braylon and it really wore on a lot of them I mean all of a sudden you're down to kind of leaning on two and it really took Julius was kind of through that you know could he come and, and could you go and, and, and so um, you know that whole group and is should be and I think they're taking the strides in, in being a better group. The names aren't changing, but you know now we've got to keep them healthy, right? You've got a lot of cornerbacks who've got uh, attention. One who may not get a lot of uh, focus on the guys, but it seems like they're yeah. happening. Uh, do you like the fire that he brings and, and the skill set? Yeah, and I, and I think what you said is an accurate assessment. I mean, you notice him, right? And he puts himself in position to be noticed. You know, he's. Uh, he, he loves playing, and you know, there's a guy that's worked through a ton of, uh, you know, he's worked. He's worked through all the different things to put himself in this position and uh, continues to work at it. It certainly does bring a great energy to it. And so I think you're absolutely accurate in what you're seeing, right? I mean, there's a guy that shows up, and I think he loves to compete, and, and that, you know, it does rub off on that. And, and that you I'm grateful for the way he approaches it. Logan Brown at right tackle. I've been there for 14 practices. Through this time, just how have you seen him progress with that position, block out that spot, and when you still want him to see him, see him grow in the summer? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's 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 one of those where, you know, what did, what did he do? He, he got a lot of reps, and there's times, you know, they were good reps. And then, you know, there's times when, okay, you got to be better than that. So what is he going to well, is a perfect example. What are you going to take from spring, and how can you work on it in the summer, and and then when fall comes, all right, where are we at with it? And, and again, I'm excited. You know, 
it means something to him. He works at it. And so, you know, this is a starting point. Uh, but they're all steps you got to take. And, but he's got to, you can't just ride out. No no guy on this team can just, all right, spring's over. I'm just going to get myself in shape. I'm going to be ready to go for fall. Is there a particular strength or something that you feel like Ricardo Holman does that kind of separates him or makes him, you know, somebody that you can trust back there? Yeah, I mean, I think he's putting himself in a position where you, you can trust him. And I think that really stems from he, he's trusting himself. You know, he's going out and he's playing. And, uh, you know, certainly, you know, all these guys you wouldn't bring them if you didn't think they had talent. And, and you know, now it's clicking. Again, a guy that works at it, you know, means something to him. And I think when you see them feeling like they're – you know, when they have confidence in themselves, you're going to play better, and you're going to play at a consistent level, and that's been showing up. Yeah, he's got stuff he's got to continue to work on, but I thought he's had a really good spring. Yeah.